happy 4th of July. Happy Mondays with Madi. My name is Madi Still, founder of Still Prepping 24-7, your favorite Philadelphia health coach. And today's uh, Mondays with Madi is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be teaching you how to be successful on a holiday, all right, with your health and your nutrition. But first, if you've never been to a Mondays with Madi, we always start off with our product of the week. And I'm so inspired by two runners who decided yesterday to push their bodies to the max. This is one of our leaders, Garen Jones. He ran 40 miles yesterday, 40 straight miles. And also my good friend, Samson, who ran 30 miles. One of the products they incorporated yesterday, I use it at night to sleep really well. I've never tried it before a workout. I'm gonna try it this week. It is our Nightworks. Nightworks is an unbelievable tool. Imagine blowing into a balloon and it doesn't blow up right. You gotta stretch it out a little bit and then you can blow air and it expands. Well, that's kind of like what Nightworks does in our blood system. It inc increases circulatory health. So Garen said that he used it so that his heart would pump longer, it would get more blood elasticity in throughout his body. He ran 40 miles. If Garen can do it, I can do it. I'm not looking to run 40 miles, but I'm gonna see how it works. So today's Mondays with Madi is all focused on you and your nutrition plan. So how to be successful on a holiday weekend, how to avoid weight gain on a holiday weekend. Here we go. Successful tip number one, have one to two shakes in your day. Now, if you are not on our nutritious shakes, you are tripping. This morning, I have cafe latte. It's like an iced coffee. So those of you who love Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks iced coffee, here you go. It's packed with nutrients. It's less than 200 calories. It's got all the vitamins and the nutrients you get from five full meals. It's unbelievably delicious. And what this does is it curbs my appetite. It's got 17 grams of protein in this one. Um, and you're going to notice that you're not going to be as hungry throughout the day. So successful tip number one is have a shake for breakfast at least one in the day. Successful tip number two, be prepared. You have to prepare yourself for the day ahead of you. For me and my family, we're going to be enjoying um, the Kids Bop concert on the uh, Ben Franklin Parkway today. What did I do? I packed snacks, healthier snacks for me and my family. So I packed another Herbalife shake in my meal bar form. I packed fruit. I packed um, almonds, different things like that with protein so that I know I'm snacking on something healthy and I'm not going to be tempted by the stands that are around me. If you know you're going to be in cookouts all day, no problem. Be prepared with hydration. Get lots of water in. Be prepared with your tablets. I have my small container and it's got my tablets that are used as my vitamin supplements. I'm taking this with me on the road. So be prepared. Tip number three, enjoy whatever you want in smaller portions. I can't tell you how many people get lost in the idea that they can't eat whatever they want when they're on their nutrition program. You can eat. Okay, the biggest thing to remember is eat smaller portions of what you're eating. You don't need to have an entire plate of potato salad. You can have a small little portion of potato salad. Lots of water while you're eating. I recommend three eight ounce cups every hour. That's going to keep you full and it's going to, you know, properly absorb the food that you're bringing into your body. Tip number four, don't skip meals. People have a tendency to skip breakfast or lunch so that they can eat whatever they want throughout the day. Bad! Skipping meals is going to pack on the pounds. It's going to leave you depleted. It's going to leave you less energized. And it's actually going to make you gain weight. Never skip a meal. And then last but not least, tip number five. Today is one day only. One. Don't make it a 4th of July week. It is one holiday. Okay? So get back in the gym tomorrow. Get back on your nutrition program tomorrow. Get back to your positivity, your affirmations, your joy, your happiness. Let go of the holiday after today. And that's how you're going to be successful. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked what we talked about today, like, comment, share, get other people, tag people. Let them know how to be healthy and successful on this 4th of July holiday. Happy Monday. Blessings to you all.